My house cost millions of dollars. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Comedian Chris Rock has long been entertaining his fans from his early days at Saturday Night Live to more current times with his Netflix stand-up specials. Chris comes across as pretty low-key, and part of that probably has to do with the fact he doesn't live in Hollywood, but he does have a pretty impressive estate in Alpine, New Jersey, the most expensive neighborhood in the state to boot. In this video, we'll look at where the funny man calls home, and we even found some of the listings. What are we waiting for? Action! Chris Rock is a comedian, actor, writer, producer, and director. I think George Lucas gonna sue somebody. Although he worked as a stand-up comedian and appeared in small film roles prior, he rose to prominence on Saturday Night Live in the early 90s when he was a cast member. In the 2000s, Chris then moved on to starring film roles and kept going with his stand-up, even being voted one of the top five greatest stand-ups by Comedy Central. Stand-up's the only art form that once you get big at it, you're encouraged not to do it anymore. He's had a series of acclaimed specials on HBO and more recently has some for Netflix, and of course developed, wrote, and narrated the sitcom Everybody Hates Chris, which was based on his early life. In his early life, the comedian grew up mostly in Brooklyn, New York. It makes sense then that Chris long owned a gorgeous carriage house in the same city, living there during the SNL days, which of course we'll also be taking a look at soon. At the time of this recording, Chris's net worth is at an estimated $100 million or more, which may be a lot higher than you'd think. But considering even recently the comic took home a whopping 40 mil for two Netflix specials alone, I'm not surprised. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Although Chris Rock is pretty private with his main house in Alpine, today we'll be taking a look at where the comedian calls home. I'll be giving you the details on his main New Jersey mansion, or what I know about it anyways, his Brooklyn carriage house, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. Follow me on Instagram to check and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Like I mentioned, Chris long owned a home in Brooklyn, New York in the Clinton Hill neighborhood, an artsy family area with A-list residents such as Susan Sarandon and Moss Def. He bought the place back in 1994 when he was newly famous and starring in Saturday Night Live. Property records from the time don't disclose how much Mr. Rock paid for the house while his success was on the rise, though he did take out two mortgages in the 90s for about 300 k each. He has long rented at the property for various rates ranging from around $8,000 to $15,000 per month, according to records dating back to 2009. In 2017, it finally hit the market for sale. The three-story carriage house was built back in 1901 at the turn of the 20th century, and although it holds onto many of the original details, like wood beams and the exposed brick, it's been updated for the modern residents. Unlike many New York City residences, this one has plenty of space, spanning 4,480 square feet with three beds and 2.5 baths. Chris's Brooklyn house was 20 feet wide, and the layout was super airy and flexible, offering dramatic high ceilings and open spaces. Some of the other period details in the grand house that were left alone include the steep mansard roof and the metalwork. The loft-like living and dining room is enormous and flows into the modern kitchen with a breakfast bar and additional eating and sitting areas. The 20-foot ceilings are prominent through most of the home and many windows to let in natural light, some of which are gorgeous detailed stained glass. The master suite that Chris would have occupied here was massive with 23-foot ceilings complete with skylights and separate seating area, not to mention a beautiful ensuite bathroom with double vanities and huge walk-in closet. The house has not one one but two attached outdoor spaces. There's a garden with built-in barbecue you can access from a few of the rooms thanks to glass doors, as well as a rooftop deck making the home quite the urban oasis. Additional amenities as per the listing include the basics like a full laundry room central AC, tons of closet and storage space, as well as a private two-car parking garage, which isn't so basic in terms of New York City, it's actually quite rare. Although Chris's gorgeous turn of the century modernized carriage house served him quite well over the years and gave him some extra income while he rented it, he ended up selling it for $3.35 million. Now let's see where Chris calls home in New Jersey. Chris has been living at his current home for quite some time now. According to property records, he bought this mansion 
extension for $3 million back in 2001. We even found those property records and that's how I know his mega estate is in, or right past the posh Timberline estates where other celebs live as well including the likes of Little Kim. And clearly I'm not the only one who knows Mr. Rock still lives here. A couple years back his address was exposed by a realtor on their celebrity trick or treat list. I mean what kid wouldn't want to go to the wealthiest homes for Halloween? Anyways, those records show that this home was purchased by Chris and Malak Rock, which of course is the comic's ex-wife and mother of his children. So there's your proof. Unfortunately, the pair is now divorced and this became a no turning point in Chris's life that he later regretted. He's spoken about his infidelities and the importance of caring in a marriage in his alimony tour. After 18 years of what was called a pretty good marriage, Chris and Malak finally signed divorce papers and called it quits. He opened up about bad things he has done in his marriage and admitted he was wrong, stating, Your significant other, if they really love you, has a high opinion of you and you let them down. I got divorced and lost all my money. <laughs> Either way, it still seems Chris lives in this mega mansion. Located in Alpine, New Jersey, the comedian lives in the most expensive and luxury neighborhood in the States. But what else would you expect from a celeb? Sadly, not much is known about this mega mansion or the interior anyways. But let's see what we do know. Chris's New Jersey property covers two acres and was built in 1999. Online sources state that his home is the second on the street, on the left, and has a pink hued exterior with several peaked roof lines and two turrets. Inside, Chris's mansion spans around 13,000 square feet of living space with four beds and four baths. From aerial views, we can see the large in-ground swimming pool and the wraparound driveway. Of course, the estate is completely gated as well. Of the many luxurious features that I'm sure exist in Chris's home, one website says that he has seven fireplaces throughout as well as an arcade, but I've yet to see it for myself. Next up, I'm gonna call this one a bonus house because truth is, I'm not 100% sure Chris owns it. When you do a Google search of Chris Rock's homes, a photo that kept coming up and link was for this gorgeous place in Malibu. A couple websites said Mr. Rock did own this home, but like I said, I'm not sure. Most celebrities do like keeping a home on the West Coast or close to Hollywood, so I wouldn't be surprised. Not to mention, Chris has been spotted in Malibu often with fellow funny man Adam Sandler before. According to the list, this Malibu home is a private oasis. It was last sold in 2017 for 9.5 mil. So hey, maybe it was Chris who bought it, because from my memory, that's the same year he sold his Brooklyn place. Anyways, the house spans over 8,300 square feet with five beds and five baths, and sits on about 1.5 acres of land. The Malibu home was custom designed and is perched behind gates on a very private road for ultimate security. The common spaces have wooden ceilings and floors, as well as fireplaces and many floor to ceiling doors and windows with access to the outside patios. The property has a very tropical vibe and has also been described as Balinese style. There's a massive gourmet kitchen and dining area with commercial grade appliances and more than one living room or family room nearby. Other features include a large screening room, home gym, and a beautiful master suite with two large walk-in closets. Not to mention there's an additional guest house that overlooks the huge pool and lounging deck and a three car garage. This Malibu house has a great indoor outdoor feel to it and looks perfect for entertaining. Like I said, I'm not sure if Chris owns the home or it's just a rumor, but whoever is lucky enough to occupy this Malibu estate also has access to a private beach area with a beach key. If you guys happen to know whether or not this Malibu property belongs to Chris, let me know in the comments. So now we've taken a look at Chris Rock and where he calls home, including what we know about his current estate in Alpine, New Jersey, his Brooklyn carriage house, and the Malibu home that may or may not be his. Which one was your fave? I personally like the Brooklyn one. I mean, you had me at turn of the century and built in 1901. Not to mention the stained glass windows. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you thought about Chris's homes in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!